So as the title clearly says, we're going to do a Starlight Headliner in the 240. Most of my interior panels are already out, so it shouldn't be too hard to get the headliner out. Um, wasn't too sure if I wanted to do this, but I figured why not. So I'm gonna get the headliner pulled out and we can start doing the installation. So headliner is out. Um, I just wanted to show you, this is the kit that I got from Amazon. Excuse you. Originally it comes with six and a half feet of fiber optic cable, but that wasn't long enough to get all the strands ran and then hide this in the quarter panel. So I ended up buying a separate um, length of fiber optic cable this is like 9.8 feet so that's plenty and it's actually this is 300 lights or this one's only 150 and it comes with your cigarette lighter power or your wall outlet power so you have to take one of those and cut it and splice it into your car for power um, so I'm gonna go ahead now and mark out a design for the lights and you kind of want it to just be random. You don't want to put them in a straight line or else it's going to look not like starlight. So I'm going to go around, make my marks, and then make holes and start putting the fiber optic cables through. So I have all the holes laid out now, went a little bit more denser, closer to the sunroof, and then as I came out to the edge, I faded it out. Um, ended up going over 300 because I wasn't accounting for lights on the side. So I'm just going to not do a dot here and there and put a light over here. So I'm going to take a pin now and poke all the holes out and start putting the fiber optic cables in. So now all the holes are punched and I'm going to take the fiber optic cables now and start putting them through all the holes and end on this corner so I can put the module down in the quarter panel. So let's get started with that. I'm like five strands into this and I'm over it. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. So I have like a quarter of it done this section and through here. So I'm going to go ahead and hot glue all these strands down and start to just confine this to its own area. Here's the first section, hot glued down, taped. So now I'm going to go over there, 
work my way down and then we'll finish off with the back. So I got the second half done up until back there. It's easy, but it sucks. It's just takes a lot of time to poke all these through. My fingers hurt. And then pull them through enough so that everything lays decent. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue all these down and tape them kind of like this side. This side's all glued and taped, so I just have this back section to finish off and we're done. So finally, everything is done. Last step is to flip the headliner over and we'll cut off all the extra. That should be it. So we're on day two, uh, finished last night around 10 o'clock. So I have like five hours into it so far, but um, almost done. Just have to cut the rest of these flush with the headliner. And um, I ended up getting a different pair of cutters because the ones that I was using was not cutting it completely flush and it's leaving like a sharp edge. So I'm gonna go over those and try to get a nicer cut. And I'm also going to add some more lights over here because I have more on that side and I just don't want it to look funny. So I'm gonna do that also. And then hopefully put it in the car in one piece without destroying it or ripping any of the lights out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these and then we can put it in the car. It's not easy because you cut it too close and then the fabric kind of like jumps over the light and then you have to fish the string back out so you can see the light. And these cutters aren't really cutting as nice as I wanted them to either. I'm gonna have to buy a, a different cutter online and once this is in the car, I'll just go over all of them, but it's still leaving like a sharp edge. I can get it really close to the headliner, but it's still leaving a, a sharp edge on it. So they're finally all cut. Uh, last thing I want to do is just tidy these up with some tape and then we can take it out to the car and put the headliner back in. so much trouble putting a headliner in before I was ready to just whip the thing out into the driveway and call it a day and not even run a headliner but it's in so I'm gonna go ahead now hook up this box up and probably tuck it down 
over here somewhere, maybe behind that. So I'll go ahead and hook it up, shut the lights off, and see how it looks. All right, lights are off. So I'm gonna crawl into the car real quick and plug it in and see how it looks. So that's gonna be it for this video. Um, the only tips that I can give you is if you wanna do this, just it takes a lot of patience, it's a lot of tedious work, and I probably have around eight hours of work into this and I'm not even done. I mean, if you are going to be ripping your interior completely apart and getting your headliner out, it's gonna take even longer. My interior was already half disassembled, so, and I still have to put it back together. The only thing that's in is the headliner. So you're probably looking at a good 10 hours to get everything out, get everything hooked up and done back in. It's definitely a process. Would I do it again? Probably not, but it looks cool. This is supposed to be a drift car and here I am putting a Starlight headliner in it, which doesn't really make sense, but. So thanks for watching. Um, next video, hopefully I will be putting the cage in the car and cutting the quarter panel plastics in the back for the cage to fit properly. And so yeah, thanks for watching.